All new tonight, a story about paying it forward. An anonymous donor stepping up to help those still waiting for unemployment checks. I-Team investigator Kylie McGivern has the story on how one act of kindness inspired others to give. What has life been like? Scary. <laughs> it's scary from day to day. It started with a single donation, a $200 gift card. Oh my God, thank you so much, whoever she is. Thank you. Thank you immensely. It's so appreciated. An anonymous donor, once out of work herself, wanting to help those still waiting on unemployment money. She said the only thing is she wants people to pay it forward, and that doesn't have to be money, just an act of kindness. Then our anonymous donor gave away another $200 gift card. It's been a struggle. This time for Robert Watson. Watson was a chauffeur before the pandemic sidelined him. The pressure was great on me because I'm the breadwinner. There's seven of us here. There's my wife and myself, our four children, and my mother-in-law who's 87. One of our, two of my daughters are disabled, but the youngest one is a heart patient. Watson is still waiting on his unemployment checks. Money he says he needs to keep the lights on. I really, really worry about it constantly. He received some state unemployment checks, but only one federal $600 check since March. But the 275 for seven people to live on, it's hard. I've had to go to food banks to help supplement our, you know, food in the house and everything. And I'm thankful for them. If not, I'd be, we'd be lost. I'm sure other people would be too. Have you ever had to go to a food bank before? No, not till this year. And so I've got something for you. It's an anonymous donor, and it's a $200 gift oh, card thank you very much. I to help thank you. you and your family. And the Whoever only the donor was, thank you very much. God bless you. The only message that she had is just to to pay it forward. The call to pay it forward inspired other viewers to step up to help those in need. Both viewers wanted to remain anonymous too. One person sending us another $200 gift card and a second donating $1,200 worth of gift cards. We're walking up to the Salvation Army right now. They're gonna help get these gift cards, your generous donations to people in need. With the permission of our anonymous donors, we handed over the gift cards to Captain Andy Miller Hi, how are you Hi, doing? Good, good to see, see you. you. You too. Thank you so much for your help with all of this. Yeah. He says the money will go to help two families. There's a single mom with five kids. She works in the hospitality industry and hasn't been able to work lately. Another family who recently moved to the area. Unfortunately, they haven't been able to work. Both the husband and wife were working. They have three kids. Miller says the calls for assistance to the Salvation Army have increased by 300% during the pandemic. And there is not enough help for everyone. So we're just so thankful for this opportunity to be able to serve some people in a unique way and thankful to ABC for helping us as well. If you want to pay it forward and help those struggling rebound, online now we have information on how you can contact a Salvation Army near you. Your donation will stay right in the area where you give. And you can even specify that you want it to go to someone facing employment issues. I'm I-Team Investigator Kylie McGivern, taking action for you.